Hey guys, welcome to the last video of Easy Food series. You already built this app with me, but in this video, I will go through some stuff that we need to change in our app, and we will go through this stuff. They are simple, but I forgot to implement them when I was building this project in my videos. So the first thing we want to do is the on back click, which is the back stack of the fragments. Now you might notice that when we go, for example, to categories and we click back, then the activity finish itself and we exit the app. But that is not where we want to do. What we want to change is when we actually in another category than the home fragment and when we click back, we first want to navigate to the home fragment and then if we are already in the home fragment, then we exit the app. So to do that, you just need to add one line of code to your nav controller in your main activity. So go to your main activity XML file and inside the fragment block, you need to add this. So app default nav host and then we can pass true. Well, what this does, it will just enable the back stack behavior that we talked about. Let's test the app again. We actually got an error and that because I missed, I missed the E letter in here. So put it and run the app again. Okay, now go to the favorites, for example, click on the back button. And as you can see, we navigated back to the home fragment. And now we are in the home fragment. When we click on the back button, then we exit the app. Okay, so the second thing I want to show you is the status bar color. So how we can change that? It's pretty simple. Just go to your themes. And then as you can see, we already have this item implemented in our theme, which allows you to change the status bar color. However, this only works with, um, with the target API. I think this is Lollipop. So, so now to change the color, you can change this value. So we can make this color, for example, white at color white and let's run the app. And as you can see, the color now is white, but the status bar icons are not visible because they are light and our status bar colors is white. So we want to make our icons visible. And to do that, you need to add this item. So item Android and um, I think window status, window light status bar, this one, then close it and then enable this to true. This will just turn off the light mode of, uh, of the icons in the status bar. Now this only works with uh, target API marshmallow. So, so we're going to add this target API. Now let's run the app again. And as you can see now, our icons are visible. And the next thing I want to talk about is in our API. So I actually talked about that when I was making this request call, I think. So basically in our previous calls, we added this question mark in our get annotation. This will actually work fine, but only if you have one query in your call. So when you build other apps, you might need to add more than one query. In this case, you need actually to remove this question mark. But in our app, as I said, because it's funny query, then it's okay to use a question mark, but I don't recommend that because just remove it. And I discovered this bug while I was working on another project and it took me a long while to, do, to discover that bug. But, but anyways, I wanted to tell you about that in case you want to build another project that works with multiple query. Okay, now the last thing I want to talk about is when we rotate the device. So as you can see now, I rotate the device and we actually lost the state of our app. We made another request call to get a random another random meal and all of these data have changed. Now to prevent your app from the configuration changes, we actually can use a view model for that. So view model will just enable us to save the state of our app. Now to do that, there are two ways actually. The first way is to go to your view model. So we are in home view model now. So go to the, your home view model. 
and we can now call the get random meal inside the init block of this of this view model and the init block will get called when we have an instance from the home view model so what happens here even if the activity recreated the view model will not care about the activity if it's recreated so we will still have the data inside the live data which is this one and of course don't forget to remove this function from your home fragment because we already used it in the init block so we can now remove this function and let's run the app now as you can see this is our image now and when we rotate the device we need to see the same image and yes now you make sure that your app state is saved you don't need to call the function inside the int block because sometimes you need to pass some arguments to your function and in this call of course you can call it in the init block so for that there is another way that I use is by going to your view model now let's delete this we want to create a val or a var of your objects to save them internally in the home view model so now we want to create a save state random meal and this is a meal and by default this is null and now in case this random meal is not null then we just want to post it inside this meals live data so save save state random meal question mark dot lit now if we get in this scope that means it's not null and we have a reference to the meal to the random meal if it's not null then we can post this random meal inside our live data our random meal live data so random meal random this one dot post value and we post the random meal then we just want to return and get out of this function and in case this value is not then it will continue executing the retrofit call and inside here we can just first let me just convert this to var private var and then we can assign this save state random meal to our random meal we get from the API and and now of course you can keep this call in here it's okay because we handled it inside our view model now let's run the application to see if we actually can save the state so now let's rotate the device we should see the same random meal and yes we have the same random meal so that was all for this video thank you so much for supporting me and for building this project with me there will be a lot of more projects and videos about Android development and I hope you have fun with my courses. Thank you so much again and catch you in another video.